Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create grass brush in the app Highpaint step by step. So here, I just opened my Highpaint canvas, and uh, in default brushes we don't have any grass-like brush. Here we have beard brush, but there is no specific brush for grass. So I will show you how to do that now. So for that. With the help of I, uh, IPS Paintex, I'm going to create this. So we have, uh, we're going to use the basic brushes that is available in High Paint. For that, create big canvas as much as possible. Here I'm going to use one is to one 4K canvas. If you create small canvas, the PNG image that we're going to create is going to be small as well as the brush we're going to create in the high paint will be small so here I'm going to use this grass brush here you can see it is grass goose grass color brush so this is the single stroke this is how the single stroke looks single touch of the brush looks like and now Just increase the size to the size of the canvas and you will get the um, you know the PNG is in very big size so this is how we have to create the transparent um, element for our brush so now I got a PNG uh, element to create the brush I'm going to use the default brush water drip from high paint so this is how this brush look so if we touch anywhere we will get the brush so I'm going to use this brush to do that just copy this brush like this just by clicking the three dot and go to the group brush group where you want to paste it and paste like this so here I'm going to rename this brush as grass yeah here it is grass brush and now go to shape and click on that element and just go to gallery and import this stroke or the element that you have created now here this is how you have to do the settings invert shape to create the bigger one and if it is already to the size of this um, Rectangle square then you don't need to use that input now this is how the drip brush looks like so I'm going to change the angle for the grass and also change the space spacing because we want the continuous grass one so I'm going to give you step by step instruction now so by default spacing zero scatter it looks like this and when I increase the scatter a little bit and increase the count now it looks like this you can see how a small variation in the parameters changes the uh, look of the brush entirely so now I'm going to increase the count and check out how it looks it looks really dark at the center but it doesn't look that much good so what I'm going to do is I just Keep to the scatter to the minimum count to the minimum just adding a little bit to this and you know the changes here now this looks like this so at the second brush we just had some little bit of scattering and here the scattering is less now I'm going to change the color and show you how it looks now if i want to have multiple color uh, instead of having a single color just go to the dynamics and change the hue value like this a little bit not too much and i'm going to try changing the saturation as well now darkness we will just check and uh, find out what looks better so here you can see what are the parameters how the measurement i given and this look like this and it doesn't look that much good you can see so much variation in the colors there are some bluish uh, grass that we absolutely 
we don't need a blue grass in between the green grass so to reduce the darkness and if check we can check what it looks if we increase the luminosity now i just reduce the hue value saturation darkness but keeping the luminosity at high will give you very bright brush stroke whatever you try it going to be bright so how dark you color you choose the color it will be bright so don't go for high luminosity so keep it smaller like this keep it minimum and so almost i'm going to keep all the uh, parameters like hue saturation darkness luminosity everything going to be at minimum level below 5 percentage like that and here you can see there is very mild variations in the color and this is how the real grass look like so this is what we want so from this after doing so many variations we got this brush so this is really good and yeah our brush is finally ready and now i am going to show you how the brush looks like just increase the measurement Uh, thickness of the brush and here it is so yeah you can see it looks like a real grass and there is mild variation in the color and you can try this and if you like this tutorial subscribe to my channel thank you for watching share with your friends